What's up everybody? I'm out at Eastway Park in Charlotte, North Carolina today. It is overcast, so it is cool, and I am all about it. I went on to the Dynamic Discs website. If you guys didn't know, I am sponsored by Trilogy, um, so that's why I throw Trilogy Discs. Um, but I went onto their website and ordered a couple new discs that I've kind of been looking at slash wanted to try before. Um, first off, we've got the new Matty O Tournament X Maiden. You guys know that I throw uh, my Glow Maiden a lot, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna snag this one, support Matty O, and uh, see what we can get. And then I've also got a Chris Clemens Ice Culprit. This one should be pretty good. It's not gonna be as stable as the Justice. Um, but it is a stable disc. Feels really, really good in the hand. I'm excited to throw this. And then I got this disc because it just looks sick. It's Hanley's uh, 2022 Tour disc, and this is a Suspect. So this is a Chameleon um, Suspect. So I'm excited to see how this one flies as well. I'm at hole nine here on the short tees out here. It's only 165 feet. We're gonna get some ace runs, not only to try and get an ace, but also to just kind of figure out the flight of these. And then we're gonna go in the woods, do some touchy scramble shots, which is what I use a lot of these discs for. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so we're gonna start off with the Maiden and we're, I'm just gonna give this a straight bid. I'm just gonna throw this right at the basket. Not the right height, but look how straight that thing flew. Okay, I like it. Let's try the Suspect. The Suspect is gonna be a little bit more stable Okay, so not, not like deeply overstable, but definitely a, an overstable disc. And then this culprit, I don't think there's any way I can really flex this, but I'm gonna try to. <laughs> oh, go in. <laughs> we just hit the basket. All right, gonna go same order here. Gonna give the maiden a little bit more height, but still about the same angle. Is that it? Oh, it's almost it. Need a little more height on that. The culprit again. Oh, right height, right everything, just off to the left. Nope. So one of my favorite shots in disc golf to throw is like the step out Anheuser forehand shot, which if you don't have in your game, you need to work on, honestly. Um, it saves me so many strokes when I can hit it effectively. There is no backhand line here for me to get to the basket. Um, we're probably about 150, maybe a little more away. Um, so I'm gonna throw this suspect on a high little Anheuser. It should stable out and land flat down by the basket. Okay, so more stable than the truth but still gives me a putt there. So the culprit, we would give even more Anheuser, obviously, or the same amount of Anheuser and a little bit more power, but that looked like it got the right amount of distance. So we're just gonna give it a little bit more Annie. Oh, <laughs> that was gonna be down there. All right, and then the Matteo Maiden, I think this one's gonna fly great. This one should almost hold the turn the entire way. Oh yeah, look at that shot. So that's about 15 away, really touchy. That's what, like I don't like throwing putters on forehands, but that maiden feels really good. The inside wall of it is flatter than a lot of putters feel. And so it feels good for um, forehands for me. So before we continue, just a little update on the discs and how I'm feeling about them. Um, in regards to the order of which I think they would go into my bag, I really like the Maiden. Um, this Tournament X is nice. It's not overstable, even though it is Tournament X. Um, and I think it'll beat in nicely and it'll be a really good uh, putter for me to throw off of the tee, um, as well as to just be workable on forehand and backhand. Again, I'm very specific with my forehands and how it feels in my hand. Um, and this feels good. Like this really does feel good. This feels like a disc I would feel confident for handing. Um, next, uh, I actually really like this Suspect. Um, it's super rounded 
and that just feels good in the nook of my hand. Um, I feel like I can forehand it really well. The backhand feels super secure as well for someone like me with smaller finger fingers. Um, really, really like it. Still learning the flight of it because it is overstable, but if you put power on it, I feel like it's not as overstable, but I mean, I guess that's the case for anything. Um, but I feel like you can smash this pretty straight. We'll try it out on another backhand hole in just a second. And then the culprit feels really, really good. If you're somebody who the justice is too stable for you, I think the culprit is a great counterpart to that. Um, I love the Justice. It's probably my favorite disc in my bag. I throw it all the time for touchy stuff. I have a soft one, which is a little more understable, and then a chameleon one, which is more overstable, um, and I love both of them. The culprit feels similar to me. Um, it is beadless, which is good. It has a little bump, but not really a bead, it doesn't feel like. Um, feels really good in the hand for forehands. Feels really beefy for backhands. Um, so again, if you're someone who, use, who doesn't like the Justice necessarily or feels like it's too overstable, give the Culprit a try. Um, see how it feels in your hands. And uh, I think you might like it for those overstable, flex, touchy shots on backhand and forehand. All right, so this hole is 262, dogleg right kind of, but kind of a slow fading dogleg right. I'm gonna try and throw a turnover with this Maiden. I haven't tried that yet. And see what we can do. We're gonna work it down the left side of the fairway on the ante and hope that it makes its way to the middle of the fairway and stables out and lands flat. Ooh, it holds it. Wow. Okay, that's pretty. I know I hit a tree, but man, man, did I like that. That flew really, really well. Um, now we're gonna throw the suspect on a hyzer forehand, see if it flips up a little bit and uh, pushes down. They're gonna aim down the middle of the fairway. If it does flip up, it'll push to the left of the fairway, but still stay inside. Set up just a little bit. So that's gonna be inside on the hole, but still really good. Now the culprit, I don't think I'm gonna throw it on a hyzer at all. I'm gonna throw it with power flat right down the middle. Might flex a little left, probably not. Oh, wow. Okay, so that actually was flexing left. I just released it poorly. So the suspect was in a pretty good spot. Um, it was about circle's edge on the right side. I really wanna throw this hole again because 262, I feel like is the perfect distance for these discs for me. Um, the Maiden was more understable than I expected um, for being a tournament X, but I actually love that about it. Um, because for me, I want a disc to do what my mind thinks it will. And I think of a Maiden as an understable disc. So if I pick up one and it's stable, it's weird and I lose confidence in it. So knowing that this is pretty understable, I love that. I feel like I can throw it a little bit more confidently. So I'm gonna do almost the exact same throw, just a little bit less Anheuser on it. And we're gonna see if we can push it down there. Okay, yeah. I also give it a little less power, but I think that that might be pretty close. Now we'll go with another forehand here with the suspect. Gonna throw it on a hyzer again, but this time I'm gonna push it more to the left since it was pretty stable. Ooh! It stood up for me, okay. Forehands for me, I generate more spin, so discs act a little bit more understable. That's just for me personally, might not be for you. Um, so that's why that disc flew like that. I'm gonna throw this one flat again and uh, try and actually hit my line with it this time. Yes, man, that pushed straight. Wow, okay. So the culprit's kind of reminding me of the harp, which I love but I feel like it's super touchy, um, especially on forehands. It's hard to figure out your angle. Sometimes it feels like it doesn't fly the same. Great disc, but very touchy and very particular for certain instances. I don't think I can put a lot of power on this culprit because it just pushes super straight. Um, and so, but again, that's just for me. It is overstable um, and I was able to throw it pretty well there, but discs like this just get in my head sometimes where I'm like, it seems like it would be an overstable disc, but it's not as stable as it is for me.
it could be super stable for you. But that pushed really straight. It was a nice shot. I just hit a tree with it. So with the Maiden, I gave it less angle, but also less power. I needed to choose. A lot of times when you throw a shot and then you try and correct it, you correct it with two different things, angle and power. When most often you just need to correct it with one. Throw the same power, different angle. Or throw same angle, less power. On that one, I threw a less Anheuser angle with less power, so it stabled out too soon. Um, I needed to throw it on the same angle with a little less power or um, more power, less power. You guys get what I'm saying. I'm confusing myself now. Did I confuse you? No, just pick one. I've been throwing a lot of forehands, so we're gonna get some backhands in for you guys. 235, about six foot gap here off the tee. Lots of guardian trees, and it's pretty cool because I can throw different shots here. Um, I can throw the culprit on a flex line, which is what I actually throw on this hole. I normally throw a justice here. And I throw it on an ante, let it pan around the outside and crash in, which is what I'm gonna do here. For the maiden, I'm gonna throw it on a hyzer down the right side. It'll probably stand up and land soft. And then I'll do a little mix of both with the suspect. I'll actually probably throw it flat down the right side and let it work its way in. Um, so three different shot shapes. We will uh, we'll see what we can do here. Again, flex line with the culprit aiming down the middle with Anheuser. That's it. Yep, that's parked. Five feet past the basket. Absolute money. I think I would use the culprit more on backhands than forehands, honestly, which is weird because I use the justice more on forehands. All right, Heiser with the maiden. Gonna try and go inside the last tree in the middle. Uh, kind of stable. Oh man, that thing flies nice. That would give me a putt, but it didn't, it didn't go left like I wanted it to. I think I might've thrown it a little bit too flat. And then now the suspect, we're gonna throw flat down the middle and have it turn inside that tree. That went super straight too. It was a really nice flight. And again, this is the whole process of learning discs. The culprit is parked. I've got a 40 foot putt with the maiden probably similar with the other one, made the gap through all of them, feel super confident throwing and releasing the discs. Now it's just about learning the angle and how they fly. Well, I uh, made the maiden and the suspect putts. And then as you guys can see, the culprit is sitting in a really, really good spot. This was such a sick shot. Um, overstable discs like this are super workable. Um, and allow you to commit to your line. That's why I love throwing overstable stuff because it forces you to commit on that angle. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a good shot. Um, so if you feel like you're in a place where I really gotta commit to this, grab something like that and pop it on Annie and just watch it. Ooh, so much fun. Well, it's starting to rain and I need to get this expensive camera <laughs> back into my car. Um, Really enjoyed throwing these discs. I actually do think the Maiden might make my bag. Um, culprit, for me personally, I like the Justice more. They are different, um, but I don't think I really have a slot where I need uh, a culprit. But for you, if the Justice is too overstable, give it a try, see if you like it or not. And then the Suspect is actually dope. Um, for Anheuser lines, I really like it. Nice little touchy up shots from like 150 with this thing, um, really, really cool. Genuinely enjoyed throwing these discs. Let me know down below if you guys throw any of them and if any of them are in your bag. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.